Hello there. This is the family doctor. Good evening, Grant. Good evening. I'll, I'll uh, be right down. Where are you going? You're upstairs, Lou. Be right down. Hmm. Well, what in the world? He seems to be in a mighty big hurry. I wonder if he's sick. Oh, my. Grant? Yes, dear? You aren't sick, are you? Yes. What? What did you say, honey? I asked you, are you sick? Sick. Oh, oh, oh sick. Uh, no, no, honey. I, I'm all right. Be right down. Well, that's mighty queer. Oh, well, there's no telling what that man's up to. Mm-hmm. He's salad for us. Good evening, honey. Well, how do you do, Dr. Adams? Mighty formal, coming to the house and not... Grant Adams. Yes. Well, what is it, honey? What are you wearing? Wearing? Now, don't act like that. You know very well what I mean. Well, uh, now, I, I don't think I do. Uh, what do you mean? I no? mean that smoking jacket. Oh, don't you like it? Well, of course I like it. I gave it to you. Oh, yes, yes, so you did. But you've never worn it before, except two years ago Christmas when I put it on the tree for you. Oh, now, No, Lou. you haven't now, and you know it. You never liked it. What made you run into the house tonight and upstairs and change your regular coat to that smoking jacket? And for dinner, too? Oh, I don't know, honey. I just sort of felt like lolling. Lolling? <laughs> oh, very well, Gwen. Sit down. Read the post bugle while I get the soup. Uh, thanks, Lou. What kind of soup have you tonight? You'll see. I'll be right in. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Mayor Bliss to make appointments. Civil officers to be filled by loyal cedar tonight. In due course of his duties, Rip Bliss, recently elected to succeed Mark Trowbridge as mayor of this city, has declared that he will make necessary appointments to all city officers. Well, Grant. Hmm? Oh, uh, what's the matter, honey? I thought it was something like this. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean. Look at this coat. Huh? Oh, oh, oh the coat, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the coat you wore to the office today, isn't it? Oh, let me see it. Now, you don't need to examine it like it was a germ. It is the coat you wore today, isn't it? It matches the trousers you have on now. Hmm? Well, well, yes, honey, yes. I guess I did wear that coat today. I see. And just how did you get this three-cornered tear in the back? Oh, the chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Honey, uh, who do you think Rip Bliss will appoint as chief of police? Uh, do you think he'll reappoint Bill Benson? Of course, if he doesn't, Bill will have to... Grant? Hmm? Oh, oh, yes, Lou. Will you please answer my question? How did you get this tear in the back of your coat? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, honey. I've been going to put up some coat hangers in my inside office, but I just haven't been able to get down to Rankin's hardware, so I... So you put up some nails instead and tore your coat taking it down this evening. Is that it? I, I guess that's it, Lou. Oh, you always get all the answers, don't oh, you? Oh, Grant. <laughs> well, I'm just as glad. You are? Yes, I am. Now you can get yourself a new suit. A new suit? Oh, now, listen, honey, I don't need a new suit. I've got this one. Yes, and look at it. The cuffs are beginning to wear and this big tear in the back, and it's shabby. Why, do you know how long you've been wearing this suit? Well, 
Can't be more than two years. Two years, indeed. It'll be four years this spring. Is that right? Yes. And it's high time you went down to Max Dominsky and got yourself another suit. And I've got that gray suit, too. That's not as old as this one. No, but you can't wear just one suit, Grant. You know that as well as I do. Uh, all right, Lou. I'll go down tomorrow. Now, uh, do you think it'd be all right to start dinner? <laughs> None of your sarcasm, Grant. I'll get it on right away. Hey, Lou. Yes? Say, uh, you know, I've been thinking. Yes? What? Well, uh, I've had Max make all my suits for the past four years, and Sid Bloom's uh, been a pretty good patient of mine, too. Don't you think I'd better give him a chance this time? Here's the suit. Sid Bloom? Oh, now, Grant, you know what kind of clothes he makes. Have you seen that Sunday best that Mr. Rankin has been wearing to church the last few Sundays? Yes, yes, sure, I've seen it. What about it? What about it? You don't call that a suit, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, honey, I... I'm probably the only person in Cedarton who's had the rare treat of seeing Jess Rankin without clothes of any kind. Grant! Well, it's the truth. I'm his doctor. And I'll just bet that Sid Bloom hasn't had any more strange assortment of skin and bones to drape with cloth and stitches than was presented to him by our worthy hardware store proprietor, Jess Rankin. Oh, very well. Go ahead. Go to Sid Bloom's tailor shop. But be sure you come back with a suit. Yeah, sure, honey. <laughs> I knew you'd see my way. Sid Bloom's really a pretty good tailor if he gets a chance to hang some clothes on something more than a human skeleton. Grant Adams, how can you talk that way about Jess Rankin, one of your best friends? Human skeleton, indeed. Twenty-nine. Hmm, twenty-nine. Ah, would you like cuffs, Dr. Adams? Cuffs? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, cuffs. Yes, uh, a little, Sid, not too much. Sure, Doctor. An inch, maybe, huh? Yes, that sounds about right. An inch, I-N-S-H. Now, I got all the measurements. Maybe, yes, uh, we should select the pattern, huh? Pattern? Yes, sure, the pattern. It's one of the most important parts of a piece of clothing. And maybe you should like to take a look over these catalogs, maybe, huh? All right. Let me see one of your catalogs. Uh, now, look, Doctor, I could recommend this highly. This is the pattern what is called Hollywood Gent. That's short for gentleman. Hmm. Well, Sid, I think that might be a little daring for me. Daring? Ho, oh, ho. Now, listen, Doctor. Now, just a minute, Sid. Don't forget, I'm supposed to be a well-regulated, sane, rational, professional man of Cedarton. Well, it's okay by me. Take it as you like it. Uh, you want maybe something conservative. Well, take it a look at this model. Hmm. What's that called? That model, that's called Hollywood Producer. Don't that look swell? I got a cousin that's a producer. Well, all right, Sid. After all, you're the tailor. You should know what's best for your customers. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Oh, that's all right, Sid. Thank you. Well, we got the measurements and we got the model. Now, we got to pick the fabric. Fabric. Oh, yeah. Well, Sid, you know what I think I'll do? Hey, what's that, Dr. Adam? I think I'll let you select the cloth. Me? <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah, all right, you go ahead. Hey, there's just one thing, though, Sid. Yes, Doctor, what's that? Well, I don't think Mrs. Adams likes the type of cloth that Jess Rankin has in his new suit. If you could avoid, avoid that... Avoid it? I ain't got no more of it. So can I give it to you? No. <laughs> all right, Sid. Uh, do you want a deposit on the suit? Oh, Dr. Adams, I should want a deposit from you. Who's given me little Jacob, little Abram, little Becky, little Mo, a deposit? Positively, no. All right, Sid. Uh, when do you want me to come back? Well, make it easy on yourself. Uh, do you think next Tuesday would be too soon, maybe? Mm -hmm. Tuesday? Oh, that's all right. I'll be back then, Sid. And don't forget now, you've got to make a Bo Brummel out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Bo Brummel. <laughs> Phew. A Bo Brummel I got to make out of him. <laughs> Better he should be going to our fancy dress balls, maybe, huh? Dinner's ready to put on. Yeah, right there. 
The ladies' aide had an awfully good time over at Windsor's today, Grant. Oh, is that so? Yes, indeed. Mrs. Windsor has so many lovely things to do with. All her nice china. She has a new set of little doilies for luncheons that are the... Goodness gracious. What's the matter, honey? Grant Adams. What in the world are you wearing? This? <laughs> well, this was the errand, Lou. I had to go down and pick it up. How do you like it? What is it? What is it? Why, it's my new suit. Where did you get it? Well, Sid Bloom made it for me. Oh, Grant. You like it, honey? Oh, Grant, it's positively hideous. Hideous? Oh, now, listen, Have you Lou. seen it in the daylight yet? Well, no, I, I haven't. I just picked well, it up this evening. Just wait till you do. That's all I've got to say. Just wait till you see it in the daylight. Why? What color do you call that, Grant? Hmm? Oh, I'd say it was sort of a tan. A sort of a tan? <laughs> I'd say it was a sort of a yellow. Yellow? Oh, no, no. Yes, it is a yellow. Just as yellow as a lemon. Only there's more of it. Whatever in the world possessed you to buy a suit like that? Well, I, I thought Sid would know what color it'd be best, so I... So you let him pick out the material. Uh-huh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, Grand Adams, I wish you could see yourself. Master <laughs> Friday, is it as funny as all that? <laughs> yes, it is. You look exactly like a canary bird. Canary? <laughs> or a great big yellow powder pigeon. <laughs> uh, there's no such thing as a yellow powder pigeon. I uh, know. That's why it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I was going to surprise you. Oh, you did, Grant. You did. Uh, now, I'm going to surprise you. Huh? Oh. We're going downtown tomorrow morning. I'm going with you, and I'm going to give Sid Bloom a piece of my mind. Now, Lou. Then I'm going to make him take back this suit and make you a brand new one out of material that I'm going to pick out. Oh, honey, you can't do that. Now, you go on upstairs and take that atrocity right off. I've got a nice dinner already, and I don't want to have indigestion afterwards from looking at that suit. Go on now. Uh, why didn't I take you down there with me in the first place? I might have known I couldn't do it by myself. Gosh, the Friday. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.